Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa, you can call me Nessa. And today we're gonna be testing this, uh, it's a huge palette from W7, it's the cool downs. And um, I wanted a whole palette with like cool tones palette. I've been looking for a cool tone palette and I saw that one at Burlington for $12. So I was like, why not now? I swatched some of the pad, the eyeshadows and this black, it's not really as intense as I wanted, but the shimmers are pretty decent. So we're going to start with this palette and then um, I'll let you know what I think about it, okay? So if you want to see the makeup look, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I already did my primer and the one that I'm using is the playing in the makeup by Jolanda in this one it's a pretty pretty um thick consistency and very kind of full coverage I would say eye primer and I really like it so we're gonna start applying probably I'm gonna do the very light um gray frosty I think it's called frosted frostic this one right here and we're gonna go right there on the crease. I know I feel like <clears throat> cool tones is not something that flatter my under, um, my skin color, my undertone color, I would say. I'm more like yellow base, as you see in camera. <laughs> my skin looks pretty yellow, and it's been always like that, which I don't mind, but sometimes if I want to do cool tones, I feel like it kind of clashes or something. But I still wanted to try it because I've been always going towards the uh, warm tones. And honestly, um, it gets too repetitive at the same. So, so that's, that's how it looked like. So we're going to do this eye first and then we're going to finish the other one out of camera to make it like faster. So now we're gonna go with deeper gray, more like this one right here. So we're gonna use this freshest from Morphe. It's the number N, I can see, I think it's N456. I can see with our glasses on so blind. So we're gonna go and kind of deep, deepen up that crease right there. But we'll see what I think about this palette because um, so far, no bad, no bad. All right, so I'm gonna go on my switch um, sponge and we're gonna go now with the deeper one. This is the Loosen Up, this one right here. It looks more like a brownish gray i would say in camera but it's 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 a pretty color but i don't know if this is gonna do any different so far <laughs> it looks deeper on but it really doesn't translate much on the eye so i don't i don't know yeah that's what i was kind of afraid of you know that the eyeshadow palette wasn't that good anyhow we're gonna go with this it's kind of like a black color but it's not as intense i'm gonna get a smaller brush now and we're gonna go with that blackish gray and see if i can go a little bit more deeper i feel like yes but not really <clears throat> actually because of the lighting and the camera looks a little lighter than in person i feel it looks quite deep and not super deep if i wanted like i said but now i feel like i lose a little bit of that light gray so we're gonna go again with that color and trying to blend the edges with the same brush, I just switch colors here. And, um, <laughs> let's go with this one. Not sure if you can see much of the transition, 
Um, yeah. So now I think I'm gonna go. I really like this color right here. It has like a, I don't know, I can explain it, but it's a very pretty. So we're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Actually, it's more brownish than gray, but the application, it's pretty nice. But I feel like I need something lighter in the center and a little bit lighter in the inner corner right here oh this one is very nice pretty decent metallic mm -hmm. oh this is pretty too but this is more brown um yeah i think Let's go with this one. But well, this one looks a little more party. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyhow, um, it doesn't look bad though. Um, yes. <laughs> I think we're gonna just go stop there. We're gonna go and finish this other eye and I'll be back, okay? Alright guys, so I'm done with the eye look, basically um, I can apply a little mascara on my lash bottom line, but I'm just gonna do that later. I'm gonna do the foundation, um, it's gonna be another video for the foundation probably, I'm gonna post it on TikTok because it's a, a something I'm gonna try to do different with the foundation, so if you wanna, you know, know what is that foundation technique that I'm gonna apply just follow me on my social media and TikTok Instagram it's gonna be down below okay so yeah guys so I really like it I've applied these lashes I don't even know what brand of lashes is this but I really like them um the liner I use for my wing liner it's the Elia Girl Fine Line and it's a felt tip like that as you see and I was thinking it would be very uncomfortable to use it but it's very nice and flexible it doesn't it doesn't drag your eye it doesn't scratch your eye it's pretty really soft and flexible compared to other ones that I try on the market so yeah and I did that wing liner and I really like it I really like it I really like this eyeliner for just a couple of bucks I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it like, girl but yeah, so we're gonna do that foundation and then we're gonna come back and show you everything and tell you too what I think about the palette. All right guys, so I'm back and I'm done with the whole face. Um, and really, really can tell you about this palette. It's not bad for the price, $12. Um, I got this one. I think I said TJ Maxx, but it was on TJ Maxx. It was Burlington. And it's a nice palette. Neutral, cool tones, mostly cool tones and some warm tones, I would say. Um, I wish it the black. It was a more uh, pigmented black and no um, satin finish. But it has a little bit of like a luminosity in it. Like it's, I don't know. I, it's not completely mad. Um, so yeah, it's a very pretty palette. I would take it with me for a travel or anything like to do like like everyday looks. Maybe a little bit of the smoky side, not so much because this black. I, I just don't. I just wish it was a, a more pigmented black. Other than that, the other eyeshadows, I think they perform very nice. They're very nice. They're very neutral. They're very everyday for me. Um, not something very uh, exciting, I would say. So yeah, if you see it, you might like it. They have another version and more like the war tones. I heard that one, it's a pretty good one. So yeah, that's it guys, thank you. Um, go ahead and follow me and like and comment. And I'm gonna be doing always uh, beauty, uh, makeup, uh, fashion, hauls because that's what I like. I got passion for makeup, beauty, and fashion, mostly makeup, of course. And yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.